I'm out here in the yard. Um, I'm going to build a new chicken coop today. Um, I don't think I've got enough materials, but I'm going to give it a go anyway. Um, making it out of PVC. I've watched on YouTube lots of different things. You know, one guy says don't make it out of PVC because when it breaks, you can't fix it. And he was making them out of wood, but they were just that they, they were. I don't know if you call them. They're grass-fed hens, but basically, the cage was only like a foot tall and maybe three meters by four meters so all the chickens just live in that and they, they, they fill them in there with like heaps of chickens you know and then what happens is they just move what they call it a, a um, chicken tractor they just move it along every day so they've got fresh grass every day right well I don't need to do that um, mine are totally free range in fact today is the first day I haven't seen the chickens. I'm looking around. <laughs> I haven't seen them. I don't know where they are. They must have found a new area to go to, but they'll be back later, no doubt about it. Um, now, I watched, there's lots of different designs. This is kind of like a hybrid design. It's my design, and I don't know exa exactly know how it's gonna go yet. It's in my head. Um, so I'll work it out as we go. Um, yeah, you know, when one guy said don't make it out of uh, PVC, oh, there was another guy making it out of PVC, but he was gluing the joints, uh, the pipe joints, and then he was putting screws into it. And he, the reason for that, I asked the question on the YouTube, I said, why are you putting screws in the PVC joints? And he said, that just makes sure they don't fall apart. But PVC joints are much like a weld in one respect. Once you join it, properly if you use a primer and then the glue and then you twist the the joint 90 degrees that means it makes the all the glue go on really nicely the strongest part of all that PVC then becomes the joint because it fuses it together okay it's like it melts it and then it by melting it and then it dries it's solid so I won't be using uh, screws I am going to use uh, PVC, uh, PVC um, cable ties because the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to use cable ties and we'll find out about later. Anyway, I'm going to get to it and start doing this and you can watch me a little bit there. I've got another. So this stuff here is uh, priming fluid. Now I've never used this in my life. I've always only ever used the uh, PVC cement, but you're supposed to put this priming flu fluid on first. No one ever taught me that. Um, I've picked it up off YouTube, so I'm going to use it. So basically, we're just going to... Oh, it's bloody wet, I'll tell you that much. We just prime that like that, get the excess out. Do both ends. Three, four.
clouds getting high Everybody's flying and never touch the sky There's UFOs over New York and I ain't too surprised Then this bit, where the lid is, now this is all, this is just things that I've come up with, so whether it works is not another story. So what I need to do is make a frame, so I want, oh, I'll get that drill out of there. These are going to sit like that. Alright, and then what you will do, the netting and that, the, the um, uh, what, what do you call it, chicken wire is going to go along here, but then without going into the cage, you can just, well, maybe they're out about there, so that's going to have to come in pretty far, just enough to put a tee there and a bend and a tee. So, yeah, then what you do is you can just come along, pop this off, and get your eggs from outside without going inside. All right, so um, I've come to my end of today's uh, episode for the chicken, new chicken coop. Um, I've run out of 100 mil PVC pipe, so that's as far as I can go for the moment. I do have to replace one end because it's it was a shorter piece of conduit and it doesn't look right to me. Not going to make much difference, but still, it's oh, it affects me. I look at it and go, yeah, that's not right. So it'll have to be replaced. It means that not hard to replace it just means those two fittings that I've used in that that pipe the PVC, the conduit can be used for something else the two fittings I've used well they'll, they'll be they're, they're gone and done and dusted you know so I may even well I could do that now actually put that one there I will do that why not so I am a bit um I am a bit OCD I know most my family would say that I'm not because my house is always a mess but the whole thing is is it the thing about OCD is that once it gets above you, beyond you, it just spirals out of control. Like, I know people used to have fun with me in my office. I'd sit there and I'd, everything on their desk was in a, in its spot, right? I would go out to the toilet or somewhere, go out to the plant, come back, and they'd sit there, they'd hear, hear them giggling, and they'd go, you know what we, you, what happens all the time? I'd go, no. I said, come back, we just move your stuff, like, five millimeters just put a twist on something just move that one back a little bit move this one over here and I'd come back and just go dit, 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 and fix them all but I didn't even know that someone did it it's just that they weren't in the right spot <laughs> so anyway I'm getting back to work now that's all even I'm happy with that and there will probably be two more um, conduits in there so yeah two more so there'll be one two three four five all together i'm star off grid hope you like the first episode and uh see you on the next one